I think we're kind of almost ready. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to UCL. Welcome to London. Welcome to Ponds 22. My name is Neil Oxtoby. Um, my co organizers for today and tomorrow for Pond 22 are sitting down here in front Alex Young and Pete Bidretta, as well as some uh, Valley Wood. Thanks today to uh, the Welcome Trust for sponsoring all our refreshments um, and, and some, some of our um, traveling business expenses as well. UCL, the Pond Group, and the Center for Medical Image Computing. We actually used to be based right near here, but we're based down in, near Holborn Station now. Just a short walk, which is where we'll be going for dinner. So, um, to get started with the presentation that's actually on that machine. Um, fire exits are back out the way you came. Back to, straight down the main way. We're not expecting any fire drills today, so it should be all good. And we assemble down outside on the, on the ground outside the, the engineering building. Nearest toilets are just out here. So the door just came in. Let's not for you guys online. Um, and catering is in 503B. Is that right, Pete? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to see if we can actually put it outside the doors for what's in. We'll work that out when the first coffee break happens. Um, I broke the HDMI cable on this monitor, so all the presenters will have to do what I'm doing is look at this. I've just got this one for the, for the cameras to apply for folks online. So I thought I'd give a bit of a history of how POM22 came to be and where it came from. So in the spirit of disease progression, modeling and reconstructed the timeline. Um, back in 2012 was when computer scientists started to get interested and the field sort of began and disease progression modeling for neurodegenerative diseases. In 2014, we hosted a meeting here in London with some, some guests from on the continent uh, to plan a Horizon 2020 application that turned into the Europon project. And we hosted meetings every couple of years um, on 2016, 2018, and 2020, which is called Compage. Um, London, Geneva, and Paris, although the Paris one was obviously online, um, being in September 2020. And that was in conjunction with the radar AD people from around the sky in Germany. So now, given that we're a decade in and 10 years later, it's a perfect opportunity to look back on the past of 10 years of disease progression modeling, look at where we're at, what's missing, and look towards the future. And that's the point of today's meeting. So what's going to happen in 2024 and beyond? Let's discuss that. Here's the program, it's online, so you can just jump on pond22.com um, and find out what's happening. Three sessions, the why, we're going to talk about why we do disease progression modeling, um, highlight some, some really interesting challenges. Um, the what, so what is disease progression modeling? A bit more details about it, Bruno's going to give us some nice, um, and a very nice talk on some, late, some of the latest work he's doing as well. And the how, so disease mechanisms, mechanistic disease progression modeling. And these three sessions, uh, will be split up by coffee and lunch. And the evening, if you're able to join us, hopefully you are, we're going to take a do, do, do a quick power pitch round. Let's get to apply to some power pitches, a one minute sort of elevator pitch. Imagine you're talking to Bill Gates for 30 seconds in the lift and you need to get funding, explain your research. So do a bit of power pitches, it'll be a bit of fun. Um, and we'll take a walk heading pretty much due south down to Lincoln's in fields where we'll have pizza in the park. There are tables and seats, don't worry. Um, and then we'll retire to the pub in the evening for those who are able to join us. And then day two will be a little more improvised. Um, we're going to look for the future, towards the future. Well, what things are still missing, uh, both in terms of unmet clinical needs and unmet methodological solutions, um, applications and the impact in clinical trials and healthcare, debating these kind of things whether the POND models are useful for drug development and drug design, all sorts of these kind of things. Um, and we'll start with a breakout session to brainstorm some of these ideas, and some discussion points around them, and then we'll have a facilitated discussion, debate, um, hopefully some, some heated conversations to, you know, to, to brainstorm what's next and where we need to go. Who knows, we may, we may form a brand new global POND collaboration out of this. So today and tomorrow, POND 22, the ethos is supposed to be informal and friendly. Feel free to interject with questions unless the speaker asks you not to. Um, you know, do get involved. Maybe, for example, you could set yourself a target to ask at least one question during the day. All the talks are going to be engaging and all the conversations will be thought provoking. So, strongly encourage you to get involved. Um, Danny, did you want to say anything? Okay. So, then we're just about on time. Believe it or not, despite some technical hiccups. 
So the first session uh, will be kicking off with Betty Times. Um, and we'll have a couple of other earlier career research researcher talks. And in the spirit of informality, I'm going to let Betty introduce herself. Let me just get your slides up for you. 